story that'll make you wonder why we're cutting down our Acadian forest without even thinking twice. I'll tell you a story, sad, sad story that'll make you shake and shiver. How we're ruining such a valuable thing all for the sake of local timber. But start with the basics, it stretches all the way from Maine to the Gaspay Peninsula, all throughout Nova Scotia, PEI, and New Brunswick, yeah. That's a long way to stretch in the Acadian forest. Well, it's something special now, it's something sacred now. It's important carbon storage and a home to species such as the barred owl. And the flying squirrel that needs a two-foot diameter tree at the top to build her home. That ain't no baby forest. No, that's only old growth. Well, I will tell you a story, a sad, sad story that'll make you wonder why we're cutting down our Acadian without even thinking twice I will tell you a story a sad sad story that'll make you shake and shiver and we're ruining such a magical thing all for the sake of low quality timber and the sad thing is that they've been cut for over 400 years Providing money and profit, but I don't think that's all that matters here. And how clear cutting works is they tend to harvest every 40 years or so. And biologically, 44 a tree is only preteen for us, you know. But it's not all going down, yeah, there's plenty good around. Lots of people doing the right thing. The woodlot owners choosing high quality timber over mass harvesting. Oh, yeah. So go sit underneath a hemlock tree. Go tell a sugar maple just how you care. Cause they're not gonna fight for themselves. We got to bring about liberty. Oh, oh, oh. Cause I think we owe it to the trees. Oh.